Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Hey, Memphis. Yeah, hi. Do you want to go outside for a spa day? You're not going to get a bath. Like, you could probably use one, but I'm not going to give you one just yet. No bath yet. But we're going to blow out your coat. What do you think? Kira's already out there. You want to go get your coat blown out with Kira? Get a good brush in? You could be beautiful. Do you want to get beautified? Let's go. Go on, let's go. Let's go out there and get beautified. Get up there. Go ahead. Do it. Get up there. Get on the table. Nope, going for Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, somebody's got to get up here. Get up here. One of you. Come on. You can't get all dirty before you get all beautiful. Get up here. You can do it. Yeah, good girl. You're first. All right, you're first. I love that you still look happy even with that on, like your tail's even waggling. This is gonna help from getting all that stuff in your ears and make it not so loud, what do you think? It's like, guys, look how cute I am. I am so cute with this on. I'm not sure how I feel about it though. <laughs> all right, don't worry, it's your turn next. Memphis. Woo! I'm falling over. You're done! Whoa! Look how fancy you look! Hey guys, I got my coat blown out, I used the spray, and now it's that disheveled puppy's turn. You look beautiful! Minus the mud Kira just got all over your face. We'll wipe that off when you get inside. Look at it! She was clean! All right, you can go in now. All right, beautiful. Look up here. It's your turn. You are very disheveled compared to her. I don't know if you guys can tell on this camera, but look, Kira is like molting, molting. It's crazy. So she's gonna, yeah, your fur is gonna come out way more than Memphis. Oh my goodness. Girl, how did we let you get so disheveled? You were a mess. But look at, look at how shiny you are now. Look at this beautifulness. Memphis is extra poofy. You're just, you're very extra poofy. Kira, you're pretty poofy in your face. And you definitely, your coat looks so much better. We waited too long to do that for sure. There's fur everywhere, everywhere. The birds will be very happy with all of that. So I don't think I have mentioned this at all in the vlog yet, but the system that I use, my NAS system, to back up all of my stuff is full. And my cousin, who runs a tech channel here on YouTube and also has a tech company, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel down below, is actually coming up tomorrow and bringing me a new system. So we're gonna vlog it, I'll tell you all about it tomorrow when, when we get it and we get all the stuff set up. I'm excited, I'm excited, I haven't seen him in a while. So they're gonna come up and we're gonna install this new system and I'm gonna have space to store things again because right now I'm running out of space. So that's gonna be happening tomorrow and because they're gonna be spending the night at our house, Memphis, are you sunbathing? She's like, guys, I'm just, this is amazing, I love it. Yeah, anyway, so since they're uh, staying here, Jamie and I have been working all day to get the house clean. Don't chew on that. That's the rubber mat for the top of your table so it's not slippery anymore and you're not allowed to chew on it. Can't chew on my finger, that's my finger. Can't chew on it, not edible, just saying. And then I also wanted to show you guys this. Sorry to say they are sold out, but look, I got a new spirit hood. Do you want to wear it? Do you want to wear it and show everybody? This is the Ice Husky. It was a very limited run. This is one of the, let me get it over here in the sun. This is one of the longest furs I think they've ever done. Well, at least it's one of the longest furs on any of the spirit hoods I have, but it's so pretty. It's so blue. Oh, you can really see it when the sun hits it. It's so blue. 
with these little black tips. I'm in love with it. I saw it on the website and I'm like, I must have this one. Who wants to wear it? You wanna wear it? I guess I should wear it before they wear it. Holy cow, look at these ears. I'm not in the sun, but I'm loving it. It's so cute. Okay, let's see if we can get one of the dogs to wear it. Oh my goodness. You're the cutest darn thing in the world. Yes, I have a cookie for you. She's like, oh no, now it's crooked. Hold on, hold on, let's hold on, let's fix it. There you go. All of the adorableness. Oh my goodness, you're the cutest darn thing in the world. Yes, you can have a cookie. Yes, you can have this cookie. Uh, this is so cute. Do you think you can wear it? Let's try. Let's let's try. We know Memphis is a beautiful model. Let's see if we can get Kira to do it. Oh my gosh, we did it. We got it on you. It's so cute. Kira, look. Oh, you're so cute. The lighting is bad because the sun's coming in, but we, we get the idea you're adorable. Yeah, I'll give you a cookie too. I will. Can I take your picture first? Maybe? Maybe I could take your picture? Okay, let's try. Thank you for being the most adorable models ever. You both did good. Even you did good. Good job. Oh my goodness. We're outside. The girls are getting ready for dinner. Look at We got that much snow left from that snow the other day. I forgot to show you guys. The next morning, the whole yard was covered. And then now it's like two days after that. And that's all we have. What are you doing? She doesn't want to play with you. You want to play with her? No? I didn't think so. We got to bring, we got to pack up the table and bring it is. Look at this, you guys. Do you know what this is? That is dander. That's the stuff that people are allergic to that dogs and cats produce. <laughs> Did you know that? Well, now you do. Well, most people are allergic to the, to the dander. Some people are allergic to some of the other stuff. Look, there's a Kira hole. Wanna show them all your new holes? There's another one over here that she dug while I was grooming. There's one over there. Is that your hole? Hey, excuse me. I'm right here. No, you can't eat the gloves. You can't eat those. They're not edible. Not for eating. You understand me? Don't even think about it. You want to get up here again? You want me to blow your coat out some more? Get up here. Come on, get up here. <laughs> no? <laughs> She's like, you want to eat the gloves? You want to eat it. You want to eat it. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside and get your dinner. Memphis is like, Mom, you said we could eat, and I just would like to eat, please. It's time for dinner. Somebody's hoppy. Are you hoppy? Okay, good girl. Can you speak? Good job. Sit on your butt. Speak. That's better. That is better. All right, here you go. There's yours. Okay, ready? Sit. What? Speak. 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 Louder. Speak. Louder. <laughs> okay, start over. Sit. Try again. Ready? Speak. Speak. <coughs> A little bit louder. Speak. Yeah. She's got to wind up when she speaks. If you notice, she does her little paw stomp. That's the best food I've ever had in my whole life. I forgot to put your plaque off on it. Well, we'll have to do that in the morning. Oh, well, enjoy your dinner. We had salad. Yours smells better than the salad. Not really. I'm just kidding. Look. So Husky Tails sent this to us. I haven't set it up until now. Jamie decided to pull it out of the box and set it up. You can't say that it's a Halloween decoration because it's not. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas decoration and that's two different things. <laughs> if you don't believe me, see, it's not Halloween. It's Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas, all the things. I got those at Disneyland. They light up, they're really cool. I have a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. There's some of my pins. I have more of my pins in the other room. I don't have all of the pops. I have a lot of them but I don't have all of them. And this isn't even all of my stuff. Some of the stuff is in the other room. It's in there so you can't chew on it. I like it being here because it's out of reach of the dogs. Thanks Heather for sending that. Yeah, that's cool. She's not done yet. She's losing her marbles. Did you lose your marbles? You just did more zoomies than I've seen you do in like forever. You wanna do some more? Hey, go, go, you go that way. She's like, no, I'm good now. I'm good. I did all of my zoomies. I zoomied out. You all missed it. You just ran around like a crazy dog. That dog was like, this is great. Let's do this every day. All right. Well, you let me know if you want to do that again. I would love to capture it on camera for everybody. <laughs> was that super fun? Look at you trashed the bean bag chair. You trashed the bag in the corner. You trashed, eh, you kind of trashed the couch. You kind of went crazy, didn't you? <laughs> That's what she was doing. Running back and forth down the hall. And water time. That's what I thought. All right, you take your break there, honey. Get some water. 
All right, we'll see if you continue your craziness out here because Kira can't get to you out here. If you walk within her circle, she can. But if you walk outside of her circle, she cannot. So I'm watching Crystal bake on her show that's on RFS Dan. She does a Getting Baked with Crystal every Friday. So I'm currently watching this and I had to show you guys this. Look at she figured out the bed and she can pretty much lay any direction she wants. She wants to lay that way, her head is still on the bed. She wants to turn and lay the other way, she still fits. She does really seem to like it. Somebody made a comment and said she won't like it because it has the dip in it. Memphis likes pillows. So I've already caught her a couple times. She likes to put her head right up here so and treat it like a pillow. So trust me, she definitely likes this bed more. We moved the other one into the living room. And then Kira still just lays here. She has a bed. Well, I just moved it a few minutes ago. And there's another bed under the desk. And there's the futon. But she just seems to prefer to be right here on the floor. She really likes laying on the floor in here for some reason. That's why, you know, she doesn't have a new bed. She has that bed. Can I wake you up so that we can go to bed? <laughs> All right, you guys. We are going to go ahead and call it a night. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. That bed is big enough. I bet I could snuggle on it with you, couldn't I? Can I come snuggle with you? Maybe we'll sleep in here. I'm just kidding. Uh, good night, audience.